Hi, everyone. We're back with another installment of the six components of effective coalitions. This time, we're taking a look at cohesion, those elements that help a coalition stick together. I'm Sarah Davis. My background is working in nonprofits with local, state, and national groups that have formed coalitions, work groups, and action committees to address policy and systems changes in support of healthier communities. I've seen firsthand the impressive work that can be completed by a committed group of individuals and organizations who share a common vision. Let's explore the essential role that group cohesion plays in coalition success. I encourage you to download and refer to the six elements of effective coalitions resource toolkit developed by the Prevention Technology Transfer Center. You can find the toolkit at pttcnetwork.org. Coalition cohesion is defined as the feelings of unity, group spirit, trust, and belonging among members. Cohesion leads to member satisfaction, commitment, and retention, and it contributes to the coalition's effectiveness and the long-term viability of the project. So how do we go about creating the conditions that support a cohesive coalition? In this video, we'll explore three components that support cohesion fostering belonging, developing trust, including dealing with conflict, and celebrating. John A. Powell is the director of the Othering and Belonging Institute, and he speaks compellingly about the importance of fostering belonging. Powell makes the case that belonging is more than just being a member of or being included in something. Belonging is about participating in co-creating the thing you belong to. Top of the list of opportunities for co-creation with your coalition members is to develop a shared vision and a shared definition of success. Developing a shared vision might start with questions such as, what are we trying to accomplish? What are our community's strengths and needs? This discussion can naturally lead into a collective definition of success. What does it look like if we achieve our vision? Many of our coalitions have support from federal, state, or nonprofit funders. This funding may outline evaluation criteria or specific goals for the coalition. While collecting and reporting data to funders on these metrics is important, it's also critical to coalition cohesion that the coalition gets to define what success looks like. Sometimes success looks like the passage of a policy the coalition was advocating for, Sometimes, though, success may be reduced political polarization in the community, greater dialogue amongst partners, new collaborations formed, greater trust between community and government, or increased confidence among coalition members involved in the advocacy effort. Make sure your coalition members are collectively defining success in a way that's meaningful for them, and that this definition is shared with funders along with other data they may be requesting. Here are a few additional ways we can foster belonging by offering the space and opportunity for co-creation. One way is through the design and structure of the group. What should our coalition look like? Will we have a steering committee or executive committee? Who will be on it? Will we have subcommittees? What will their roles and responsibilities be? What does coalition membership look like? Who can join? What are the expectations of members? And whose voices or expertise might we be missing? How will we communicate with each other? When and where will we meet? What does it look like to make our meetings as accessible as possible? Group agreements offer another opportunity for co-creation. What are our guidelines or intentions for how we want to function as a group? Setting decision-making processes. Who gets to decide what? How will we make those decisions? The prioritization of activities or strategies. Of the evidence-based and promising practices available, which strategies will work best for our community? What do we have the capacity to do based on our resources and the community's readiness? Co-creation of the coalition leads to a greater sense of belonging among coalition members, which leads to greater cohesion for the coalition. Let's explore the next element of cohesive coalitions, trust. Developing trust is about building strong relationships between the individuals who are part of the coalition, as well as between organizations participating in the coalition. I wanna stress how important the second component of organizational trust is. Organizations are made up of people and those people build relationships, 
but you want to make sure that when an individual moves on from an organization, the relationship that the organization has with your coalition and partner organizations remains. Let's start at the individual level. A key strategy to developing trust among individuals is to provide time and space for relationship building. For coalitions, this can include starting each meeting with an icebreaker or get to know you activity. Consider how you might go beyond traditional name and organization introductions to help coalition members connect with each other. Want ideas for icebreakers? Just Google it. There are a million different ideas that range from short to in-depth, from funny to serious. Setting aside informal time at the beginning or end of a meeting for members to chat and get to know each other is another strategy. I teach a facilitation foundations course and recently one of the participants who leads a community coalition shared with me that they structure their meetings so that they start with introductions, then take a break to grab food and eat, and then reconvene as a full group to hold their meeting. They found that starting with introductions and then giving coalition members time to eat together helped people socialize and commune over food in a way that helped to build relationships among members. And working together on a shared project is probably top of the list for how to build relationships and trust. Whether it's volunteering on a service project together, collecting signatures or tabling at an event, phone banking or letter writing, co-presenting, planning an event or writing a grant together, Collective, meaningful work gives us the opportunity to get to know our fellow coalition members, to experience their talents, to share ours with them, and to experience shared challenges and successes. Find the opportunities for your coalition members to work together on a project. Embrace those smaller work groups and subcommittees. They will help you build cohesion among your coalition. Now let's explore relationship building on an organizational level. Ideally, you want the organizations with representatives on your coalition to remain committed to the coalition, even if that staff person leaves the organization. And you want to know that the coalition has trust with the organization as a whole, not only with the individual who actively participates in the coalition. A few ideas to support relationship and trust building at an organizational level. You might consider asking the organizations who are part of your coalition to rotate the hosting of meetings. This can help to strengthen the organization's commitment to and awareness of the coalition. The organization might host a quick tour or provide a brief overview of the organization at the beginning of the coalition meeting. This can serve to connect organizations to each other as they become more familiar with the work they each do. They may uncover additional opportunities for collaboration. Ask individuals representing organizations on your coalition to provide regular updates to their organizational leadership. And finally, a memorandum of understanding or organizational commitment document may be helpful in supporting an enduring relationship and setting the foundation for trust. This document can outline the purpose of the coalition, the mission of the organization, and the goals shared between the two. Dealing with conflict is another way we build trust and cohesion. It can be easy to think of conflict as a purely negative thing, and sometimes our instinct is to avoid it at all costs, but successfully navigating conflict, engaging in dialogue, and exploring others' perspectives can be a powerful relationship strengthening process. The group agreements developed by the coalition can provide a foundation for navigating disagreements when they arise. Group agreements can underscore values such as respectful dialogue, seeking to understand, staying open and curious, and a shared vision can help group members be willing to work through differences since they're committed to a common outcome. Remember earlier when we discussed the importance of letting members co-create the coalition so that they truly feel like they belong? This sense of belonging, along with the relationships that coalition members have built with each other, contributes to their commitment to work through discomfort when disagreement or conflict arises. And it's only fitting that we end the video with celebration. Celebrating successes along the way is an important part of fostering cohesion in your coalition. This includes acknowledging coalition members for their contributions, presenting partner organizations with certificates of appreciation, reminding the group of the wins you've experienced along the way, and celebrating coalition progress. Celebration and recognition build team spirit, unity, and goodwill and offers coalition members an opportunity to appreciate and deepen their relationships with each other. 
coalition cohesion leads to member satisfaction, commitment, and retention, implementation effectiveness, and the long-term viability of your project. By creating a cohesive coalition, you're creating a positive work environment where members have developed trust with each other and the ability to resolve conflicts productively. A great place to start is to assess your current efforts. I encourage you to check out the Member Satisfaction Assessment Resource developed by the Northeast and Caribbean Prevention Technology Transfer Center, as well as other tools found in the Six Elements of Effective Coalitions Toolkit. Links to both resources are posted in the comments.